Hey, I'm Dave from Jam Hub, and today we're going to talk about getting started with your new Tracker MT16. Now, to start off, your Tracker MT16 has four buttons back, select, up, and down. Now, back and select let you move through the different menus, enter certain options, and drill down in the hierarchy. Up and down let you navigate through a specific menu or change the character if you're entering a, a file name or a Wi-Fi password. When you first boot up your Tracker MT16, you'll be sitting here at the record option. To arm your tracker for recording, press select, on, you'll see the armed light come on, and press select again to start recording. In the record screen, you'll see the duration of your recording, the file name, the file type, the sample rate, and the amount of space left on your SD card. To stop recording, press select again. Your Tracker MT16 will take some time to encode the files. And once it's done with that, if you want to unmount your SD card, make sure you turn the armed mode off. And then you can safely remove your SD card and take the files and dump them into your favorite DAW. What we want to do now is go through your settings menu. Press up, select, now you're in your settings menu. This has a number of different options. Audio, network, cloud, status, self-test, factory defaults, and format your SD card. For now, we're going to be going through the audio menu. Press select to get into the audio menu. First up, you'll see your channels option. This is where you arm individual channels for recording. You're going to want to turn off the channels that you're not using in the moment so that you don't waste space on the SD card. Press select to get in. Then you can use the up and down buttons to go through the individual channels. Press select to change them from on or off. When you're all set, Press and hold select for three seconds until it says saved. And now you've saved the option and you're all set to go. The next option that we want to go over is channel mapping. You need to tell your Tracker MT16 how it's connected to the outside world because things like your Jam Hub Studio and your Breakout Snake for mixers all come through the same port. So in order to get your channels lined up correctly inside, you just have to set this. Enter the menu, you can see it's set up for the snake cable, which is the breakout. TRS is for the eight onboard inputs. And Jam Hub is if you're connected to a Jam Hub studio. Select the option that you want, and you're good to go. Next, we'll talk about record mode. Your Tracker MT16 can record in two modes, split and combine. Now split mode is what we're all used to. If you put 16 channels of audio in, it will save 16 individual files. That can be really convenient, but because of the way SD cards are designed, it can take a long time to encode your music safely. And that is what combined mode is for. Combined mode saves all 16 files of audio into a single BND file, which is kind of like a wrapper. Encoding takes only a few seconds, and you simply have to use the free split utility from jamhub.com to turn your BND file into 16 WAV files for easy production on your favorite DAW. Now let's talk about sample rates. Your Tracker MT16 can record in three sample rates. 44.1, 48, and 96 KHC depending on your particular audio needs. 44.1 is CD quality, and as you go up, your file size will increase along with your quality. Next, your Tracker MT16 can record in both WAV and MP3 audio format. Once you get your audio settings taken care of, you'll be all set to capture the energy of all your live performances.